This video is about how your challenges are your gift. <laughs> so I don't know how popular this idea is going to be, probably not very, but firstly I'd just like to clarify a bit what I actually mean by our challenges being our gift. So I, I don't mean that I think that it's necessary for us to experience pain because we need to prove that we're worthy or because we need to prove to some higher power that we're good enough. I genuinely don't believe that. I don't believe that we need to prove our worth to anybody. I think that we are innately worthy and I really do believe that. So I don't think it's about that. Honestly, I think it's really simple. I think it's about growth. I think it's about growing. When we're not there yet, when we haven't achieved something that we really want to achieve, it's because we haven't grown enough. We're not quite there. Have you ever experienced, I mean, I think everyone's experienced times when there was something they really wanted to do, but it involved doing something frightening, or maybe they were afraid to make the, move, the first move to talk to somebody or, you know, to do something. And I, I think that so much of it is about that. It's about we're not quite ready, we're not quite there. I believe really strongly in energy, I really do, and I think that if we were a match to it, I believe that if we were on the same vibrational frequency of something, that we would have it, we would have it now, we'd have it already. But before that can happen, we have to do all the learning and we have to do all of the growth, we have to overcome over all of the various fears that we have and all of the resistance, the thoughts that we have, you know, telling ourselves that we can't do it, that we're not good enough. And, you know, then we get a little bit further and then we think, but am I, do I really deserve it? And then, you know, you go back a step and then you sort of get back. So you're, you're back to the place where maybe you're trying again, and then there's another thought and then there's, okay, maybe I do deserve it, but maybe this isn't realistic. And I think we have to go through all of that. And if you, if you don't, if you're not experiencing that, then that's great. But if you do have that resistance there, then that's something that you need to overcome. And that's why I think our challenges are our gift, because without them, we Without them, we don't learn what we need to learn. If the challenges are there, it's because there's something that we need to learn from it. You know, I, I've gained so much in strength over the last two years. It's just unbelievable. I mean, the amount of things that I went through that I never thought that I actually would be able to handle. Um, one of the things was, you know, dealing with uncertainty. That's a huge thing. I, I was never able to deal with uncertainty before. I always felt like I needed to know when something was going to happen, it, you know, how it was going to happen, when it was going to happen. That was a huge thing for me. And I, I do still like to plan, but there were times when I just couldn't make plans. So, I, I mean, I made plans where I could, but there were certain things that I just wasn't sure about. I just didn't know the answers. And, you know, I had to be able to deal with that. I ran out of savings and I moved, uh, I moved back in with my mother for a while. She, um, she lives somewhere really rural. And so I was basically, um, you know, I was basically more or less in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, without being able to see many people and, and sort of without, you know, without there being much sort of socialising or anything really going on there. And that was something, you know, that was something that I had to deal with it previously. I mean, it's interesting because, of course, we're, we're still half halfway in lockdown now at the moment. And it, it's something that it's, it's really interesting because I actually feel like all of those things actually prepared me for this. I mean, when lockdown happened, I was prepared because I'd spent so much time knowing that I wasn't you know able to do certain things that I wasn't going to be able to see friends because the because I didn't have the money there so I couldn't meet them and I I don't have friends here now where I'm staying so you know and after spending that time um that time at home with with my mother I you know I really got used to not being able to go out and do things when I felt like it and that but I I feel like I I did really learn how to deal with uncertainty you know and I I gained strength just from just from doing things that weren't just that weren't ideal it wasn't an ideal situation but also looking for the gratitude in that situation I mean I had so much gratitude for my mother for 
helping me, for allowing me to stay there so that I could work on what I wanted to do, so that I could work on my own thing, work on my dream. And it also meant spending a lot of time with her that I wouldn't have been able to spend otherwise. Um, so I have so much gratitude for both of my parents for that because they've both helped me in terms of that. And it, you know, there, there's, so, there's so much that we can learn from these things. And, you know, I, spending time with your parents when you get older, you know, when you have work and all these things, it's often something that you don't get to do. Um, and I got the opportunity to do that. So we really do have to feel, have to find the gratitude because it's always there. One of the other um, parts to my journey was um, when I ended up having to move in with a friend and I was supposed to be there two weeks. I was actually there three months in the end and I was staying in his loft, uh, sleeping on a mattress in his loft and I was living out of one case of clothing and I uh, said so this, this must have been about a year ago and I'd gone over there with one case of clothes um, because I, I flew, went on the plane, so I couldn't take more than that, right? That was all I was taking. And it went from being really cold to hitting summer after like the first few weeks. So it hit summer and I had no summer clothes. I had nothing to wear. I was stifling and I was like, what do I do? And I was wearing like the same two things over and over, just having to continuously wear them and wash them. Um, and, you know, it, it was just... There were so many small things like that where, you know, you just you just had to deal with it. And I didn't know when I was going to have, you know, where when I was going to be able to get the clothes back that I had at home so that I'd actually be able to, you know, have summer stuff. And I, I didn't know when I was going to when I was going to be able to move out of the loft and stop living out of, you know, one case, you know, nothing hung up, just sort of rooting through the thing every time you want to get dressed. And I didn't know... I didn't know how long that was going to be for, and I had no idea what my next move was. And I think as well, being in that situation where you have to make these decisions where you don't know what your next move is going to be, and, you know, either you have to decide or you have to sort of wait for fate and see what happens, but either way, you've got to be okay with not, you know, with being in a situation where there's a lot of uncertainty. And so, yeah, I learned a lot from that too. <laughs> Here's the thing, you can't expect to feel fulfilled and to live a life that's incredible for you if you're not living that life right now. I mean, if you're not feeling fulfilled right now, you can't expect to feel that level of incredible fulfillment if you're not willing to change anything. You have to be willing to change things and you have to be willing to do things that are different to what everyone else is doing. I feel like one of the things that's really hurting a lot of people is feeling like you have to be at a certain stage in your life by a certain point. So like the concept that, you know, you have to have a job by this age and, you know, you have to, you know, you come out of uni and you, you should be in a job and you should be settled and ready and then you should be progressing through your job and you should be moving up to, you know, a constantly higher or at least slightly higher salary and there should be this continuous sort of progression and I do I do believe in progress and I definitely believe in progression but I think it's it's this idea that you know oh if, if you don't have a mortgage by this age or if you're not married by this age and these concepts that are in society put they put so much pressure on you but you don't have to adopt them you don't have to take those things on and you know I think I used to, I definitely used to think like that I, I think it's something that you know I used to think that you know like you you come out and you get a job and when I didn't get a job straight away when I first came out of university like I I felt like I was doing something wrong and it had, it had only been a few months but I felt like well I you know I don't know what I'm doing with my life and I don't know what's going to happen and I do, I think that this is really hurting people and that it's, it's something that we need to let go of because life really doesn't work that way. It doesn't work quite so linear, even though we're often led to believe that it does. I think what's happening is everyone's going for security because they want to feel safe. And I mean, if anyone understands that, it's definitely me. Like... I I went through a period at home where there, there was a lot of stress around money because there wasn't really enough of it coming in. 
and it was a massive, massive stress for me and that was one of the huge, huge factors that led me to being, you know, so dedicated at university because I thought that I was going to be able to come out and I was going to be able to get that stable position so I would never have to experience, you know, that kind of stress when I was older. So that that had a massive impact on me and but when I got there I realised that feeling secure is just not enough. It's like we think we're here just to walk this straight line and that there are all these boxes that we need to tick off and that we're just going to that we're going to be born we're going to tick them all off one by one and then that's it. But honestly I I believe that we came here for so much more than that. I I think that we came here to to learn not just in general but I think we came here to learn about ourselves to gain a deep of an, a deep understanding of who we are and you know what makes us happy and what makes us feel something like really feel something I think and you know just to explore the world and explore what there is to you know bring us happiness I think that's why we came here I think as well it's often judgment that's the thing that stops us from doing what's really right for us, from doing what we really want to do. I mean, I know I was talking about checking boxes and there were plenty of boxes that I know I'm not ticking right now. Some boxes that I had ticked and now I seem to have gone backwards and unticked those boxes. So I mean, you know, I got a job. Well, we know what happened to that. So, you know, I ticked the box for the job, unticked that one. Um, ticked the box for living on my own, moving out of parents, unticked that one too. So I, I, know, I know what it feels like to experience that judgment. And I know that plenty of people, you know, had a lot to, you know, had a lot of opinions, I think, about what it was that I did, you know, when I decided to leave my job. And I'm not saying that that's necessarily a good thing to do, that everyone should just you know, jump off and do that. I, I don't think that it, you know, I'm sure that isn't right for everybody, but it's what I did. It's what I did and I don't regret what I did. But I, I do think that, I do think that because of that, judgment plays a massive role in the decisions that we, that we make. What we really need to do is we need to dispense with these boxes. But I also think that we need to make our own. We need to create our own ideas about what it is that we want from our lives and, you know, what it is that we want to achieve. And I think that when you, when you create your own, when you're working from your own story, when you're creating your life according to the story that you're writing rather than a script that you were handed and given to follow, then that's when life becomes really meaningful. And that's what lets us keep moving forward, even when sometimes it feels like we're not, but, you know, we do, and that, that's what helps us to keep going. If any of you are dealing with anything like this right now, like if you've sort of made a decision about your work or your life and, you know, maybe you're, you're struggling and it, it's been difficult, then, you know, just uh, leave me a comment or get in touch with me and let's talk. Oh, and also, if you'd like to see any more of my videos, then please hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon. <laughs>